Hello, and have I got some fun things to share with you guys. My Freckled Fawn package came in the mail just moments ago, and I was so excited I had to run down. I wasn't going to make a video today. It's Thursday. I have a haircut appointment and some errands to run, and I was going to kind of take a pass on scrapbooking stuff today, but... When I got my hot little hands on this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to open it right now. So uh, <laughs> so here I am with the camera rolling and I'm gonna start by showing you guys this awesome 12 by 12 paper from, that's right, Freckled Fawn. They're making 12 by 12 paper now. Hooray! I am so excited. I absolutely adore Isolina's designs. And uh, I'm so happy that she's making 12 by 12 paper. You guys know me, I'm a 12 by 12 gal. I do, uh, I have been doing Project Life for the past two months now. Through, I guess this is my third month doing it. And I did it for several years before. Um, and, and I do, I love, love, love Project Life. But 12 by 12 is always going to be my jam. I love 12 by 12 pages. Ah, look at this. This is so nice. These houses are tiny. You could totally cut this into 4x6 cards if you wanted to. Or cut out the little individual houses and line them up. They'd actually be pretty easy to cut out. They're not quite squares. They're l The little uh, roof lines go outside of the shape of a square. But they'd still be pretty easy. They're so pretty. What a nice paper. and Or a strip of it would look really nice. The other side is this blue and white diagonal blocked paper. Love that. That makes such a beautiful background paper. Very bold. Love that. Now this is a really pretty multicolored polka dot. Very festive and I love the bright colors. I've been doing a lot of fall layouts so I am just really happy to have all these bright 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 colors. Look at this beautiful teal green on the edge of this and what a nice paper with this really pretty border around it. So nice. Then we have this really beautiful geometric design. It, it's, it's kind of like diamonds with the navy blue line and then a uh, I guess a mint green shape inside of it. It's really pretty. That's how it looks from afar. The flip side of this has all these bars of color. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It is so cute. It would actually look really nice with little um, cutouts. Like just kind of like cut out a rectangle of it and then cut it into squares. I think that would look really cute as an embellishment or something that you could add to an embellishment. Then we have this beautiful yellow paper. It looks like a screen. And then the flip side is this beautiful stripe. I can't get over these bold, bold colors. It's so nice to see these bold colors at this time of year. Then we have light pink with a white doily type of print on it. This is so pretty. This would make a lovely background. And on this side, it says a lovely day with hearts. So cute. So, so cute. Then we have solids. Oh my goodness, we have solids. We have a navy blue with a mint on the other side. And another one of those. And then we have this, oh, I really like this white and mint. It's like a geometric print, but it also has a bit of a floral feel to it. And then the other side is this gorgeous yellow and white floral. I adore this floral. It's so pretty. Love, 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 love. So in this pack of paper, there are six pattern papers and two solids. So pretty. Now let's have a look at the three by four cards. It looks like there's two of each. Yay! I love that. What 
have a great idea, two of each, not 10,000 of each like a Becky Higgins core kit, but not one of each like most of these card kits. This is really great. I love this idea. So we have a diagonal stripe in that beautiful multicolor. And then on the other side, we have, it's like a frame. It looks like washi tape on kind of like a pink frame with a white space there for journaling or adding a photo or doing whatever you'd like. Then we have this, which would make a really nice cut apart element. You could cut these out and use them as labels. You could use it as it is as well. And then the other side says this was something to, re to be remembered and it's black and white. Then we have that house pattern again, this time in three by four format. Let me compare it to the size of the 12 by 12 to see if it's a smaller scale. Where did that paper disappear to? There it is. It looks like it is only very, very slightly smaller. Let me find that house, there it is. It's very slightly smaller. Yeah. And then the other side is all of these bands of color. You could do some journaling on them and cut them out. I think that would look kind of cool. Or use it as a, as a card. Then we have Family Traditions, white on a navy blue frame. The other side is just a pattern so pretty. It's that mint green with white crisscrosses on it. Here are those bars of color again. I adore this. And then the flip side is a yellow frame that says our story. This one says a lovely day. Just very simple. And then the other side says, I love us, with a little heart design there and some dotted lines for journaling. This one has a side medallion pattern in orange. And then the flip side is another one of those frames with washi tape on it. Here's that yellow floral, this time in a block on the top with a white block on the bottom or the other way around if you want to flip it. And this one says, let's make it wonderful. It's like a tone on tone, mint green with a more teal green on the tape part. It's, it's, well, it's more of a rectangle. It doesn't really have that look like fake washi tape or anything. Then here is one of those bubbly frames with dotted lines inside. Then the flip side is an orange card with a white doodly heart on it. Really pretty. Here are more of those color bands, this time going down the side of a card. And then on the flip side, we have a cream background with all those different colors and polka dots. So cute. And oh, I love this one. This one might be one of my favorites. It's this really rich pinky red. It's almost, I guess I might call that a raspberry color with this doodly mandala type frame with some lines inside of it. That's so nice, I love that. And then the flip side has this home sweet home with one of the houses from that patterned paper. So cute. So thank you so much to the lovely Joe over at Freckled Fawn for sending me these goodies. I will also show you what comes in the embellishment kit for the month of October. So this month the kit is a little bit different. The pouch I notice is a little bit different. It's this like zipper seal instead of, uh, I think normally they have an actual zipper. So a little bit of a different package. And it says Freckle of Fawn on the bottom of it. Oh, that's really cute. So let's have a look. Oh, look at these. These are icon foam stickers and they say sister, grandpa, grandma, aunt, papa, cousin. Oh, I love that papa's there. Uh, Nana, mom, uncle. 
so cute and I love that I thought they were acrylic for a second there but they're foam which means that you can kind of like make them rounded if you wanted to or make them kind of like wonky uh, I love foam and it's white it's so pretty such a pretty script love that then a freckled fawn in my opinion makes some of the nicest chipboard phrase stickers that I've ever seen I love I always use up every last one of them and I love these. Uh, these ones, the only thing about them is that they do tend to fall out of their molded, like they fall out of the card easily. Oh, no, these ones are not going to, so that's great. That makes them a little bit easier for me to store. Sometimes what I do is I'll put washi tape strips down it just to hold them in place and then they don't fall all over the place. So these are little chipboard banners in different solid colors. They say things like true story, look at this, best of times, so many good times, a great big mess, feeling so happy. And these are nice, good quality. They come out really easily. Love those. Then there is the, the word November in a scripty font. I used the October one in my Project Life for last month, so I'll look forward to putting that one in this month's. Then we have a sheet of cardstock label stickers. So cute. I'm really leaning towards using this whole kit, like the embellishments, like all of it on, in my Project Life. I can't wait to do Project Life again. It's been a while. I took a week off, so, and by a week off, I mean I'm not behind a week. I just skipped a week, and I'm going to just pick up where I left off. So these label stickers are really cute. I like that they're not your typical label sticker, like they've got some kind of interesting, unique little shapes and little designs on them more than just like a solid with the two, like more than just this kind and that kind. And of all the things to make puffy stickers out of from this kit, the, house, the houses are the best. That is just freaking awesome. Okay, so let's... I like to take things out of their package because it does make it easier for me to use them and to try them out on different pages and stuff. But look at these adorable puffy stickers. They are the more shiny kind of puffy sticker, but they're not epoxy stickers like they are actual puffy stickers. Like They have some give to them. So cute! Ah, I really want a scrapbook now, but I need a haircut. You guys, if you could see me, oh my gosh, I have got way too much hair up there. I need to definitely, I'm going to like way less when I come out of the hairdressers. So these are some adorable little embellishments. They look like little rubber pieces. They are, oh, and they have hearts on them. They're these little rubber hearts. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, how cute are they? With the little inset heart. Ah, that is awesome. I love how boutique-y these things are. They're very, you know, you can tell they're well-made, they're well-designed, they're just so cute. These are little charms. They're really, really cute. They're like little enamel charms. Oh, I love them. So, so cute. I'm gonna put them back in their package. I know I just said I like to take things out of their package, but I really don't wanna lose those. They're so special. And then we have a little set of enamel dots in the colors that coordinate with the kit. Just a little bit d deeper, the deeper versions of those colors. So pretty. And then we have a washi tape. I think this design shows up in the pattern paper, if I'm not mistaken. So cute. And that is the embellishment kit. Oh my gosh. Now I have to put all this away and go get my hair cut. But I tell you, I'm going to be using this stuff ASAP. I'm going to run home for my haircut 
and uh, get to work on this. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you would like to purchase any of these items, you can check out the link below. I do have an affiliate link, which means that I do get a portion, uh, I get a small commission from the sales that come from that link. I really do appreciate your support in using my affiliate links when I post them. Thank you guys so much. You're like the best audience ever. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great scrappy week.